Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sportsline News. I'm Doug Bork, and this is going to be the next video on the Boston Red Sox signing. As they get a good relief pitcher as long as he can harness his control. Great at striking guys out, just has to walk less people. Over 12% is not a good number walk rate. Dan Adavia coming off of Tommy John. Where nowadays with Tommy John, go look up some quotes about different pitchers that got Tommy John. They talk about how now sometimes they come back even feeling like they get <clears throat> not, I don't, I don't think stronger is the right word that they would use, but like, they're able to zip it, and they still feel like they're able to get the same stuff they had on before. And then I think one guy even quoted, I remember them mentioning it on a podcast I listened to, that he did feel even stronger afterwards. But the way that Tommy John is nowadays is not the same as it was before. You can come back and still be a swimmingly good pitcher, and all Ottavia has to be able to do is control the zone to be able to be more consistent and actually be able to be persistent in the zone and just trust his stuff. So that's what he really needs to be able to do. Um, and I think he can be a good pitcher. He's coming off of Tommy John. So giving the second year to the minor league deal gives the grace period. But with the rehab um, timeline, he really should be able to come back, uh, one would believe, by, I mean, I would hope by sometime like two, three months in the season. But that just kind of gives the grace period just in case he's from a, Pennsylvania, not too far from, um, well, about three hours from where I'm at, but uh, he's a guy that I think can be a good diamond in the rough pickup, guy coming off of Tommy John, you got him for two years minor league deal, definitely a smart pickup in my eyes, and then on top of that, I think a very nice thing that might come to the Red Sox as well, is it looks like, uh, according to Heyman, the fear for the Yankees uh, the biggest fear for the Yankees was that the Red Sox could still be in on Freddie Freeman and be one of the main teams in on Freddie Freeman. So that would be huge if they're able to, yeah, lose Kyle Schwarber, but get, bring in Freddie Freeman. I mean, how how brilliant would that be? So I think this is the stuff is moving in the right direction for Boston. They made good moves already. Uh, they did lose Kyle Schwarber, but if you're able to bring in Freddie Freeman, that obviously... Uh, really helps to cancel that out. And they brought in Ottavia, who I personally do think is going to be very good when he's able to come back, as long as he can harness the control. Because his strikeout stuff is really good. It's just about him being able to have control. I really like the Matt Strom signing, as I said before in that video, and the Jake Diekman signing. Those are two very solid lefties that pitch completely differently from the left side, so they give you a different perspective from two lefties in the bullpen as well. So I really do like what the Red Sox have been doing, but I do think the bat is definitely uh, something they could use. So getting Freddie Freeman would be very essential to them being the peak contenders in the AL East, I believe, because that they are missing that pizza, extra pizzazz bat in that lineup, which Freddie Freeman, we know, is one of the best DM hitters in the league. So that would be great if they could get him. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. And please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the Easy Deeds widget to keep us growing to 215. By the end of March or more. Really appreciate you guys' love and support this far. Peace out and stay safe, everybody.